What's up guys? Quick intro here. We launched bright and early from the beach this morning. Stopped to pick up a little bit of live bait, which we might use later in the day, but first things first, we're gonna do some trolling for halibut. And if you've watched my channel for a long time, I actually caught my PB halibut, PB kayak halibut, the very first time I uh, took the kayak out. So I'm hoping that I can break that today. And uh, we're kind of in the area for big halibut, I feel like. I've seen some big halibut coming up, upwards of 30 pounds. So I'm gonna be trolling out here, trying to find one of that similar caliber. I'm gonna be trolling a bounce, what's called a bounce ball rig. And I'll talk more about that later if you don't know what it is. But uh, first things first, we gotta paddle out to the halibut grounds. We're kind of looking for like 60 to 80 feet of water, I think is a sweet spot. So it's got all the ways to go. We're in 35 feet right now. And uh, probably about a, maybe a half mile or so more. And we'll be in prime halibut territory. Ooh, there's a fish on here. Yeah, I don't think it's very big, but it is our first fish. Yep, not a monster, but there's our first fish, a little brown rock fish. All right, no skunk. There's definitely something on here. Here we go. All right, we just got out just to 60 feet of water, and pretty much right away we got hooked up here. Feels like something decent. There's go on a run. Pretty much out here all by myself. There's not really any boats that I can see really anywhere around. 60, 62 feet of water to be exact. I saw some brown. Dang, well, that is a good sized rockfish. Look at that. Especially for this area. Oh, look at that rockfish. There you go, that's actually the same species as that first fish we caught, but this one is a lot more respectable. I'm trying to figure out if I should keep this guy or not. I think I'll keep him. I haven't had a fresh rock fish in a while. This is a pretty good sized one, so we'll throw him on the stringer. Now we just gotta find uh, a buddy for him on the stringer. sure what this is. Guess there's only one way to find out. The rockfish. Also not a very bad one. All right, we can work with that. All right, second keeper brown, I'll throw him on the stringer. Not too bad. Some fish tacos. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. I don't think it's a halibut though. Hal halibut are notorious for just a lot of basically dead weight and then big head shakes. So a lot of times you can tell before you even see it what kind of fish it is. This one just doesn't, to me it doesn't really feel like one, but you never know. Yep. Wow. We've been in 
into some good good rockfish here today. Another solid brown rockfish there. <clears throat> yeah, if you look at the back there, definitely got some battle wounds. If I were to guess, I'd say that's from a uh, hungry lingcod. But uh, he got away, unfortunately for him. Didn't get away from this one, so we'll throw him on the stringer. All right, three rockfish. Still no halibut yet. All right, what do we have this time? Again, not feeling like a halibut. My rockfish senses are tingling. Another rockfish. Not a bad one. Browns are pretty good size for fishing for this area. Normally we don't catch them this big around here. So if you're in a boat, you travel down to some exotic places like Big Sur. Uh, fish like this would be the norm, but around here, this is pretty good. We have a nice little fish fry with these. Such a super calm day. I mean, there's like no, literally no wind. If you could have, if I could wish for any conditions, this is like exactly what I would wish for. The only problem is there's no fish. Or should I say there's no halibut. Rockfish bite seems to be doing pretty well, but for some reason, just can't find halibut. on the beach now and like promised I'll show you the rig that we were using to catch up the rockfish. Um, like I said earlier it's called a bounce ball rig and let me get it out here. We got I think this is 30 or 40 pound braid and uh, we have that tied straight to a three-way swivel there. So one side is to our main line that braid and then the uh, another side coming off I think this is 20 pound mono about 12 to 18 inches or so to a little swivel and this is where we attach our weight and then the third and final um, eye of that swivel is our leader so this is about probably about four foot leader this is 40 pound mono what i was using for leader today you can use 30 20 whatever you see fit me i was hunting for the big fish today so that's why i had 40 and then i got call it a dodger or a flasher, whatever you want to call it. It's basically just a shiny piece of metal. When um, it's overcast like this or the water's really murky, this can go a long way to lure those fish in from a long ways away, whereas they wouldn't, maybe wouldn't have seen your bait if you didn't have this. So anyway, we got that. And then another probably foot to two feet leader to a uh, hoochie, or you call it squid skirt. Basically a little squid imitation, little piece of plastic. And I got two hooks on there two octopus hooks and uh, I think there's a size maybe two odd and three odd something like that I'm not sure exactly but two hooks there you could use one but I like to use two just in case you know that fish is coming and just nips at the end of the end of the squid there you want to make sure you get them so that's the rig we're using today ideally we, were, we wanted to target some halibut but the nice thing about fishing out here in the ocean is the bycatch is just as good so we got a few rockfish. We could have accidentally stumbled upon some link cod. Um, but even though we were targeting halibut, it's still not too bad day. Not a bad day out here. So I'll leave all this gear linked in the description below. Feel free to check that out if you want to try this yourself. If you have any questions about tying the rig, 
or how to use it, feel free to leave a comment below. I always check the comments and uh, do my best to answer any questions down there. So the halibut hunt continues. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.